Hi, I'm Laura Lively. Welcome to you and all of your parts. I thought I would share with you kind of an update. Um, in January of 2023, I chose a phrase for my word of the year, and the phrase was just be. And I thought I would share with you kind of, as I shared the phrase with friends and I tried working on that phrase within my own system, there were some common responses that came up and I thought I would share this with you and to kind of see what your system would think about um, as it relates to just being. So my invitation to you to notice what's happening as you're watching this or listening to this is see what comes up for you as you hear me say, just consider being, not striving, not trying to fix yourself, not working, just resting and accepting where you are. So notice what comes up for you. So many people reported anxiety, myself included, this buzzing sensation in my body, and that the idea of just being kind of activated a fix-it part, what I would call a fix-it part. And I'm wondering if that happened for you. And the reason I think that's happened is we live in a world where striving is held up as what is right, as the thing to do. And just being, in some cases, can be kind of tantamount to laziness. We have spent years, most of us, I'll speak, I guess I'll speak for myself, trying to fix ourselves. And not that there's anything wrong with wanting to better ourselves, but I'm curious what comes up for you around the idea of just being. I also have heard people say, oh, I can't just be, I am not good enough, or I can't rest, or that's just impossible. I was you know, raised that rest was laziness. Yeah. So what comes up for you? I, I can tell you that you know, just being has been a uh, practice. It definitely was not something I got right out of the gate. And still to this day, months and months later, just being takes some work. So I'd invite you, what does it mean to you and your system to just be? And more importantly, notice if you have a fix it part. Notice if you can't just be, Notice what comes up for you. Chances are you might have a few responses. Maybe, you know, the concern is laziness. Maybe is no, 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 we have to get fixed. We have to fix it. We have to fix ourselves. There's something wrong with us. Get curious about those parts. Ask them, what is their job? How are they trying to help you? Ask them what they're concerned would happen if you were just, if you were to quote, just be, what are they afraid would happen? You might need to remind your parts that you're not a child any longer. And you also might, if you have a fix it part, remind it it's not alone. You are an adult and you are here with it. It's not the only one that has to do this job of quote, fixing you and get curious about why it thinks it has to fix you. Learning to just be after a lifetime of striving is not an overnight fix. Maybe start small. I've had to start small and maybe spend five minutes once a week just being. Even that can be uncomfortable. Even yesterday, I tried 15 minutes. I found myself wiggling, and I found myself like, oh, I'm so bored. And I found myself like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. And I just noticed those parts. Noticing how it felt in my system, and I'd invite you to do the same. How does it feel to not be striving? How does it feel not to be trying to get better? Or what's it feel like to just hold space for yourself and your parts? And get curious. I got curious about the wriggling around. I got curious about the, oh my Lord, this is so boring. Just notice them. And over time, you will learn to hold that space. Let me, comes up, let me know what comes up for you around this idea of just being versus fixing and striving. Drop me a comment or an email at lara at laralively.com. Hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss next week's content. And until the next time, love to you and all of your parts.